Thus far, we learned that Arvud is the general law of nature and uh, everyone is connected uh, between them, all the parts of creation, in a network called Arvut. This is a network of connection between the still vegetative, animate, and speaking, corporeal one, spiritual one, whatever it is, it's all called Arvut. This network is called the Creator. Right? And besides it, there is nothing really, nothing else exists. The desires are connected between them through this network of connection that is called Arvut. What is this Arvut? The responsibility, reciprocity, interconnection, mutual interconnection between all the parts of the network between all of the created beings, all the creatures, corporeal ones, spiritual ones as one, it does not matter. They are all in one global integral system called Shekhinah, divinity, this desire that the Creator created. So, the connection that exists between all of these parts, the expression of the complete connection between all of these parts is called Arvut. This means that each and every part knows and feels what is happening to all of the uh, other parts, each one of them and all of them together in all of their different interconnections and combinations, and it keeps itself, sustains itself for them. Look how much this network is wondrous, universal, complete. We need to discover this network. More than that, we need to enter into this network because we are the opposite of it in order to discover its completeness. And the eternity and greatness and efficiency of it. This is why we built the opposite of the earth root, of uh, a connection between us, which is in a complete form in our ego. All of that is in order for us to reach the attainment of our root. In the attainment of our root, we attain creation in its true form, the Creator in His true form. We bow, we adhere to all of that. And in that, we complete the, the whole story of our development. Is that clear? Just be impressed a little bit from this huge process of where we are now versus what we need to attain and what the Creator did in order to open up for us this entire wondrous system, and that He is in it. He can be revealed only by being in this system. This is why He created it, and us as the opposite of it, and we attain the system and attain Him and reach the Vekut, complete the Vekut. What did you find? From Baal Sulam, letter uh, 25, about the soul revolution, he writes that everything is prepared ahead of time and each and every soul is already there with all its light and goodness and endlessness. But only because of the bread of shame, the soul came out in the secret of the restrictions until it's clothed in a murky body and only thanks to it, it returns to its root that was before the restriction. And its reward from this whole terrible maneuver is that the reward is true adhesion, meaning that it was rid of the bread of shame because its vessel of reception became a vessel of bestowal and it equated its form with its maker. <laughs> 